This is the MSI MAG Z690 Tomahawk Wi-Fi DDR4 motherboard with TPM 2.0 support, PCI Express 5.0 support and 12th generation Intel processors on the LGA1700 socket. Contains 4 SSD M.2 slots, support DDR4 memory up to 5200 MHz overclocked, efficient cooling system, enlarged head sinks and M.2 shield frother technology. The NHU12A Chromax Black cooling system comes in a glossy cardboard package. On the sides of the carton is a picture of the cooler. The black color of the box is the best way to accentuate the design and appearance of the product. The NHU12A Chromax Black includes the following items and accessories. Two installation manuals, mounting kit for Intel LGA7000, mounting kit for the AMD. Philips screwdriver, Noctua badge, Noctua branded thermal paste NTH1, two Noctua low noise and ARC14 adapters, Noctua wire cable and AYC1 splitter. Insert the metal stems into the holes in the plate. This can be done by placing the stems on the table and putting the pad on top. Secure the stem's position with the black plastic washes. They are put on quite easily. You need to align the hole of the washer ring and put it on. Install the metal plate on the back of the motherboard. To do this, turn the motherboard upside down and insert the axis into the holes, holding with your hand. Put the blue washers on the stems. It's to keep the flat backside in place.
put the metal frames on the stems. We will put a cool tower on them. Secure the frames with knurled nuts. Take out the Noctua and TH1 thermal paste. Unpack the NHU20A cooler and NFA12X25 PVW fans. Apply the Noctua NTH1 thermal paste to the CPU. 
you can apply channel paste according to your template. But I do five dots, four in the corners and one in the center. Attention, install the cooler so that the logo with the all looks in the opposite direction from the RAM slots. I made mistakes here. Screw the cooler to the frames on the both side. Note here I have already flipped the cooler. Fasten the fans on the radiator with the brackets. Warning! Before attaching the fans, turn them so that the direction of the airflow is toward to the motherboard ports and does not conflict with the second fan. Look at the arrow on the fans itself, which shows the direction of flow. Put the RAM into the slots according to the motherboard manual to work in dual channel mode.
connect the four pin fan connectors to the pump fan 1 and CPU fan 2 pins on the motherboard. 